My name is Monica Errico and I am with a training specialist with the National Detector Dog Training Center and I am the program lead on the ALB eradication uh, pilot project. And what we're trying to do is use frass from the insect in training the dogs to detect the presence of an Asian longhorn beetle. The dogs are being used in surveys around trap areas, um, in residential neighborhoods, uh, wooded areas, and as well as um, firewood. Um, and looking for the presence of that frass um, in those areas. Um, the mission is to try to allocate resources to the areas that the dogs are responding or showing indications in. Uh, the dogs are trained uh, using positive reinforcement um, to respond. They already know that something's different and what they're, we're doing is teaching them to tell us when there's something present there. So all we're basically doing is using their natural instinct to hunt and capitalizing on that and then telling them what kind of response they want we want them to show us when they do indicate this. Uh, everything revolves around the dog's nose uh, hunting wise whereas the human we mainly focus on our eyes. Uh, our, everything is revolved around our eyes. So um, the dog's natural ability to use their nose in a way in which they're looking at a, a lot of different variables in a hunting ability, what we're capitalizing on in order to find something that they're looking for, what we have taught them to look for. Uh, first of all, we get our dogs from mostly 95% of our dogs come from shelters. Uh, most of them are mixes uh, or of, be of beagles and labs. Um, and we, we, they stay in an indoor outdoor kennel. Uh, most of the time they're out training with us during the day. Uh, they act I actually see these dogs more than I see my own dogs at home. Yeah. I am excited to be on this project and hope to sometime, uh, someday have a program that is utilizing the dogs in domestic their arena. This is the, the way that the USDA is going and it's, it's right in line with their mission of eradication and safeguarding is emergency response. So um, I think that, that this is a, a good way for the USDA also to get another, to have the dogs as, as, an, as ambassadors for their program.